Here in this code sample we define the function student so we could create an array of objects that each one of them represents a specific student. Here we define the function filter. Filter receives two arguments. The first is an array, an array of objects that represent uh, students. The second argument we pass over is a function, a function we want to be invoked while iterating the objects that represent the students. Each time the function returns true, that object is added to a new array that eventually filter returns. Over here, we can find an invocation for the filter function. We pass over the array of students and a function, in this case an anonymous function. An anonymous function that returns true or false, depends whether the average of the student um, is bigger than 90 or not. Over here, we iterate the object in the new array, filter returns. Now, if we execute this code sample, this is the output. As you can see, just two students. Out of the five students we have, were returned in the new array, filter returns. Now, if we change the function, for example, let's say we want to get all students, their average is uh, bigger than 80, then the result will be different. Now, we can use lambda expression in order to rewrite this code, make it shorter. So instead of this code, we can put ob arrow ob dot average bigger than 80. That's all. Now if we give it a try, as you can see it works fine. We could of course uh, refer something else. For example, let's say we want to get all students their ID is uh, bigger than this number. Now if we check this code, as you can see we got those students, their ID is bigger than this uh, number. Bottom line, we can use lambda expressions, especially when calling another function and passing over a function we want to be invoked within that other function, as in this case. Here we pass over this lambda expression that represents an anonymous function we want to be invoked within filter.